When I think about tech news, I get a fuzzy feeling in my tummy. My heart rate rises, my ears get cold, and my palms get strangely dry as a desert. My doctor is completely at a loss. It may be officially time to worry about Intel. The company has been kicked out of its position in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, a longtime benchmark of the health of the US stock market. And in terms of health, Intel is basically a necrotic limb that naturally had to be amputated by S&P Dow Jones Indices, the company that maintains the Dow Index, and replaced with NVIDIA, the cool new multi-trillion dollar cyber limb with AI and a kung fu grip. The swap reflects the loss of influence Intel has suffered in the last year, and the stock market isn't the only one losing faith. The US government is discussing how to save Team Blue as the company may be too strategically important to lose. American policymakers may be encouraging a merger deal for Intel's chip design business with perhaps AMD or Qualcomm. In the meantime, Intel is planning to reduce its workforce at its Israeli research and development centers, though dozens of employees have already left this year to work for Nvidia, who is straight up single white femaleing Intel at this point. The leaked PS5 Pro specs were wrong something we've learned thanks to the console's unboxing embargo being lifted. According to Digital Foundry, the console specs are detailed within the included safety guide, because nothing keeps you safer than knowledge. There were three specific points worth mentioning. It has a 390 watt power supply, 50 watts more than both the launch version and slim version of the PS5 Digital Edition. We also learned that the GPU's compute performance was exaggerated more than a man's height on Tinder. While leaks suggested a GPU capable of 33.5 teraflops, it actually manages around half that, 16.7 teraflops. But the console does have two gigabytes of extra RAM, more than the 1.2 gigabytes claimed in those same leaks. Taking a more hands-on approach, Brazilian YouTube channel Tag performed the first teardown video of the PS5 Pro, which was actually against the embargo. They confirmed it has an easy access slot for the CMOS battery, a repairability feature not seen on most consoles. Speaking of not seen, Sony has removed the 8K label from the PS5 Pro's box, just like they did with the PS5 non-Pro, but this time they've replaced it with a label stating it's a disc-free console, like a Surgeon General's warning on a pack of cigarettes, but like, Way stupider. I'll also give you a warning about this sick mid-tower PC case from our sponsor, Corsair. The 3500X has a stunning wraparound glass aesthetic, but it doesn't let that go to its cable headers. This case has all the cooling support and essential features serious builders need, whether you're rocking a mini ITX, EATX, or anything in between. With up to 10 120 mm fans, 360 mm radiator mounting points in the side and roof, and easily removable tempered glass panels protecting a spacious interior, you'll have all the room you need to achieve maximum cool. It also supports reverse connection motherboards from ASUS and MSI for a cable-free view. And of course, it's backed by a two-year warranty. I knew you were going to ask. So check out the Corsair 3500X at the link in the description. On July 7th, 1967, legendary rock band The Beatles released a single called All You Need Is Love. They called the song that because quick bits hadn't been invented yet. A Geekbench result for the now confirmed Ryzen 7 9800X 3D was spotted by Everest on Twitter, showing AMD's newest gaming champion beating the 7800X 3D by an impressive 24%. The chip was apparently overclocked to achieve this from 5.2 to 5.46 gigahertz, but that still wasn't enough to bring this desktop gaming chip close to last week's Geekbench results for Apple's M4 Pro and M4 Max, baby! But that's fine. This generation of chips from both AMD and Intel focus more on efficiency than raw power, uh, which is which is why the Apple chips are also more efficient. Ugh. What, what are we doing here, guys? Production of Apple's cheaper Vision Pro has been delayed beyond 2027 for a while now, according to insider Ming-Chi Kuo. However, less than a month ago, fellow insider Mark Gurman determined the headset is still due next year. More recently, however, German suggested Apple was considering making a lower cost glasses gadget that would use the computing power of your iPhone, similar to glasses from companies like Xreal. I kind of want that to be real, not because I think it's a good idea, but because I'm a bad person who wants to laugh at the people who buy it. It's the little things in life. Even Microsoft may have finally grown tired of the co-pilot name, as rumors suggest the company may rebrand its AI as Windows Intelligence, stop. The new name was apparently found referenced in an administrative file after an unpopular new update to Copilot. Not only is Microsoft basically copying Apple's Apple Intelligence, but somehow they've made Apple's AI name sound less stupid by comparison. 
Amazon and Meta have both hit regulatory snags in their plans to build massive nuclear powered data centers. Amazon has been blocked from building a data center right next to a plant in Pennsylvania on the grounds that it might cause blackouts for other customers. Meta's own similar deal with another nuclear plant was thwarted when a rare species of bee was found living on the land earmarked for the project, proving that nature itself has turned on Mark Zuckerberg. And Netflix is removing 20 out of 24 of its interactive specials, which are basically choose your own adventure movies. They're keeping the four most popular ones, including the award-winning Black Mirror, Bandersnatch, which I thought sucked, and Bear Grylls, You vs. Wild, which will be a big relief for fans of dystopian horror and drinking their own pee to survive. Mind you, we are losing a lot of greats, like Barbie Epic Road Trip, Boss Baby, Get That Baby, and WWE's Escape the Undertaker. And you'll find the perfect escape when you come back on Wednesday for more tech news with us, the people you like. Be there.